The reason why stock windows is so horrible for gaming and overall performance is the high amount of processes and really high RAM usage. Both of these go hand in hand together and I'm going to show you two methods how you can reduce these drastically. The first one is gonna be to manually optimize your Windows operating system. It's gonna take a few minutes, I'm gonna guide you for everything you need to do and afterwards your PC is gonna run really smooth. The second one is gonna be installing a custom operating system and the reason why the two different versions is because many people are pretty scared of getting a custom operating system them, which I can of course understand. If you want to do it yourself guys, always make sure to create a restore point up front guys, that is super important. In the first place guys, we're going to uninstall Microsoft Edge and Microsoft OneDrive. Both of these are super hardware demanding and pre-installed on any Windows PC and usually you actually cannot uninstall them unless you use a tool like Device Program Uninstaller. Link to it is in the video description. As you can see, I'm getting it from the official website and just installing it in the first place on my PC. Then once the tool loaded up, you're gonna make sure that you're under desktop apps and then you're gonna find Microsoft Edge. For me it was kinda almost in the middle and all you gotta do is click on the force uninstall. It's going to ask you if you actually wanna do this, you're gonna click on the yes and then it's going to analyze your whole entire PC for everything which is somehow traced back to Microsoft Edge. Then once you get this huge list, it's gonna show you everywhere where Microsoft Edge is basically placed on your PC or some data of it better said and all you gotta do is click on the remove and it's gonna make sure to delete everything guys. This is why this tool is so good because you can force uninstall applications. We're gonna do the same as well with the Microsoft Edge web helper which is underneath. Just go again under remove program and wait for it to load real quick, click under remove again and it's done. And then finally as well, the Microsoft OneDrive. Then for this next step guys, I want you to open up your task manager again and make sure to go under startup applications. In here, you want to make sure to disable everything which you don't need 100% every single time you launch your PC. What many people don't know, even if you quit the program while using your PC, the processes most of the time are still running in the background. That's why you want to avoid them even get launched in the first place. And we're also going to use the Chris Titus Windows Utility just simply google it up or link in the description make sure to copy the following comment from the official website then you're going to go back into a windows search bar and type in that powershell right click onto it and run it as administrator once the window opens up you're going to paste in the following code and then the ultimate tech utility is going to launch this is an insane tool guys and we're going to click on the tweaks on the top and you can see here's a preset in there which allows you to remove all the unnecessary services from your pc with one single click he has two options which are standard and minimalistic these are going to remove a bunch of bloatware and basically everything which you don't want on your PC anyways, which is somehow related to Microsoft collecting data. But before we can do that, we're also gonna go down and click under Run O&O Shutup. This is an insane tool, removing even more bloatware from your PC and, and especially applying all of the best security settings because Microsoft is collecting so much data of your PC. So what you wanna do is click under Actions and apply all the recommended green ones. That way nothing is gonna happen. And even if you now go back and click under Run Tweaks, you can see that on the top bar, it even checked making a restore point before. So therefore you really don't have to worry at all because the tool automatically makes a restore point for you. And all you gotta do is wait for it to finish all of the tweaks and restart your PC afterwards. For this next step, I'm going to show you how to disable even more unnecessary services. All you gotta do is search up services in your Windows search bar, right click onto it and run it as administrator. Make sure to also create a restore point if you would like to before you apply these tweaks again. But other than that, just follow me exactly with what I'm doing and continue with the list.
And after I restarted my PC, I got it down to 68 processes and only 2.1 gigs of RAM usage, which is so much less than before. And now I'm about to show you how you can install Rivio OS, which is in my opinion one of the best custom operating systems. Just simply google up Rivio OS or click on the link in the video description. Now once you're on the website, you're gonna click under Rivio OS and under downloads, and then you can see the AME wizard and the Rivio OS playbook. First of all, I would recommend you to just get the wizard on your PC, and then once you go to the playbook, it's gonna redirect you to a new site where you have to generate a link. And once you get them both on your PC, just let me create a desktop folder which is going to be called RivioS or however you want to and put both files in there. Once you then click on the AME Wizard Beta, just simply wait for it to launch and then you're going to see this spot on the top left where you can click onto it and select the playbook from the folder. Once everything is loaded up, it's gonna ask you to disable security guys and this is only for the installation so this tool basically has full access to be able to install this custom operating system. Linus Tech Tips and many other people have done this as well already before with Atlas OS, Ruby OS so therefore it's safe but of course as mentioned if you're uncomfortable with this just simply stick to the first part of the video. You're just disabling it for the installation itself so when you click under next it's gonna analyze your PC. You have to of course agree with all the agreements down there and then click under next again, select your options and now you can select your browser and then the second most important one configuration option and you want to enable the defender guys you definitely want to have the windows defender enabled don't put it on disabled and then for the rest just simply make sure that you follow everything which i do It's then going to take a few minutes to go through the installation guys and trust me if it takes a little bit longer than usual or than you would expect just simply wait guys like on this low end PC where I was trying it guys it took actually so long I think it was like 20 minutes like the footage in the background is obviously cut out so you don't see like me waiting here for 20 minutes but it really takes some time so therefore don't be worried it's gonna automatically restart afterwards. And then as you can see after it fully restarted I was down to 63 processes and only 1.9 gigs of RAM usage which is an insane difference if you think about it guys so therefore i can highly recommend reviews as well and if you want to optimize your pc even further make sure to click on both videos which are right now on screen they're gonna help you out a lot